type 2, in pursuit of an IC3 male in a black hoodie, heading north on Tottenham High Road. Any further details about the suspect, over. Hands out your pockets, hold your arms out wide. What? Wait, hold up. What for? What's your name? And where have you been? Do I even have to answer that? What's this about? We've received reports of a robbery in the area. You fit the description of the suspect. Really? Let me guess. Black. Or should I say I see female? Wearing a black hoodie? Suspect is wearing a black Adidas hoodie over. Received over. Well, it's not our fault you all look the same. I'm not even black, I'm mixed race. We're really sorry for the mix up. Thank you for your time. young people this is kind of the only way they meet police you know during a stop and search but unfortunately it doesn't always happen the way it should all right so let's call this a tutorial I'm here to try and show the young people how we can all just get along a little bit better with the police just do my little bit let's call it community service main reason for stop and search was to prevent an arrest and the whole idea was, before officers would suspect that somebody's committed an offence, um, and to actually confirm or allay the fears that someone had actually committed an offence, then they could stop and search that person to before the rest of them. Personally, I think stop and search is a good thing because it's a basis for police officers to have a legitimate grounds to talk to people, ask what's going on, keep people safe, keep the environment safe. Professionally, I believe and support stop and search, but there's a big but. It has to be used professionally, ethically, and it has to be used intelligently. Hey, baby, what's that? Good morning. Fuck off. What did you say? Look. I'm walking down the road, minding my own business, and now you two want to come along and start hassling me. Again. We're not hassling you, we're being civil. Why do you care what my moan is like? What's it to you? Seriously, stop bugging me. What's your name, son? I ain't your son. Now just leave me alone, I'm busy. It's an offence to swear in a public place. Oh really? Funny, don't stop you guys swearing at me though, does it? What's in your pocket? We're looking to search you on suspicion of possessing. <laughs> Let's take a look at this scene. We've got the police and to be fair, they're being polite to Leon, they're saying good morning. So they're interacting with the young people, in fact interacting with the community. There's one problem, Leon. I don't think Leon trusts the police. Furthermore, I kind of think he feels they have ulterior motives for interacting in the first place. Alright, Leon could have simply replied, Good morning officers, but no. Leon wanted to be a bad boy, he wanted to be gangster. And all he's doing is living up to the suspicions that police have on him in the first place. Not only do you swear at them when you see them, but you run when they ask to stop and search you. But then again, when was the last time the police were polite to you? 
by the very nature of the encounter, uh, people aren't going to be happy anyway, because you I mean you're asking somebody who's just going about their daily business, uh, who you have reasonable grounds to stop and search, you're asking them to account for themselves or why they're in a particular place, or telling them you're going to search them. Now, by any stretch of the imagination, that's going to actually create some anxiety for people, and that has to be done delicately. And we know that that's not always been done delicately. If you're thinking you're stopping a group of young people and they might be carrying weapons because you've received information they might be carrying weapons, then the police officers have to actually then manage the risk. And that stop and search might be a bit more forceful than a normal encounter and those reasons could lead again to why people are disgruntled. I don't think it's fair that ethnic minorities um, are seven times more likely to be stopped than white people if it's not justified. If we look at some of the reasons we've used uh, stop and search and some of the activities we use stop and search to try and contain youth violence for example uh, and if you look at our stats in terms of not our stats but the stats that are actually producing the papers the victims of youth violence the offenders of youth violence more often than not in certain parts of london young black men attacking other young black men and if you're saying to the police, we wanted to take weapons off the street and we wanted to use stop and search in an intelligent way, then in certain parts of London, who are the police going to stop? What's going on here then, eh? It's in the park having some fun. With your faces covered. It's cold. And the sticks? Yeah. What? You, again. Why am I not surprised? And what do you attempt to do with those? Uh, we haven't committed any crime. I know what our rights are. I study criminology. You were waving sticks around. Looks like you're causing trouble. That's strange. Because to me, it looks like we're playing football. Don't be smart. Aren't you too old to be messing around in parks? Well, we could go to our youth club, I suppose. But, oh no, they all got shut down. Weren't we told we were supposed to exercise 30 minutes a day? Yeah. Obesity's on the rise, you see. Such a terrible problem, isn't it? Well, you boys put your hoodies up as soon as you saw us, like you had something to hide. Yeah, well, that's just we your We was opinion. just worried that we might fit the description of an IC3 male last seen in North London. Can we just get on with our game now? No. What you can do is get in a line. This is ridiculous. You're here bothering us, but what about the thieving bankers and the corrupt politicians? Why don't you go and arrest them? Yeah, all the rapists and the pedos. Okay, here's your yellow slip. What's this? It's a record of their pointless search. They have to give you one just to find why they did it. It's the law. Look at these young people. Enjoying life, playing football, and then they see the police. Now instead of these young people continuing to enjoy life and be a little bit polite, they've got attitudes, they're putting their hoods on, and it's not even raining, it's quite sunny. That's not how you get the attention of girls. That's how you get the attention of the police. And as for you, 
This is Hotshot Lawyer, always chatting and chatting and chatting. I know my rights, I know my rights, I learned this in college. Haven't you not learned anything? When we ask people, um, do they support stop and search? The overwhelming majority support the police use of stop and search. The real concern is how it is used. You search someone because somebody says to you, you know, I've just seen a group of young men and I think they're smoking drugs. So you stop them and you find, you know, small quantity of drugs on them. Now, it'd be ludicrous to arrest them because it doesn't achieve the purpose. More often than not, you confiscate the drugs from them, you give them a warning and they carry on in their business because it's just for their personal use. Now, that doesn't lead to arrest, but it's, you know, there's been a positive outcome. We wanted stop and search to be used to make the streets safer, to take weapons off the street and to be targeted at those people who are likely to commit violence. Um, and the change in results in the outcome has been dramatic over the last two years, to the extent where, you know, we reduced the number of stop and search that we're doing across London. We reduced the number of stop and search that we're carrying out under specific powers like Section 60, and crime is falling. Hey, hey, hey! What is going on here? There's this old woman. She's lost the plot. We're just about to call you. Do you even know our number? I know you. I seriously doubt you'd be running away from an old woman. Whatever. Hey, if you don't stop, we'll arrest you. You know, there's other reasons people run, you know. Not just because we're up to no good. Oh, what's that then? Can we just have our yellow slips so we can keep it moving? You don't need one. This wasn't a formal stop and search, this was a precautionary one. If you've got a problem with that, you can make a complaint at the station. Do you really think I'm going to complain to the same people in power who humiliate me, victimise and abuse me? Let alone search me for running through an alley? I think we can all agree the young people haven't really done much wrong here. They've run through an alley and the police have accused them of wrongdoing. But, obviously if you run through an alley, you have to get a precautionary search. Or do you? No, because it doesn't exist. Now, you lot need to know what you're entitled to, young people. If you do get searched, get one of these. A yellow slip. You're entitled to it if you get stopped and searched. Get a badge number. Once you've got the badge number, make a formal complaint. Why should you complain? Because if you complain, you can make a difference. You might not be the only young person going through this incident with this officer. Now, over to your mobile phones. It's not just for Twitter, it's not just for Instagram. This phone can be used to record this incident, which could be your only chance of actually getting some proof. This wasn't a formal stop and search, this was a precautionary one. Last but not least, do not knock over an old lady's plant pot. Why? They'll come out of a fork and it's usually not for dinner. If you're a young person, you know, uh, a young person growing up in Haringey, um, and the police target you for stop and search without reasonable grounds, then that's unacceptable. Stay calm, respond to the officer, answer the officer's question, and then, you know, if the officer then misbehaves, breaches the way a code of conduct and the way he or she is behaving, then you can walk away, you can get their number. If they won't give it to you, you can report it. The advice I'll give to police officers about interacting with young people is uh, it really doesn't matter if they're young, old, uh, nationality, treat them with respect.
And Leon simply could have replied, good morning officers. But no, Leon wanted to be a rude boy, he wanted to be a gangster. Now Leon could have simply replied, stop smiling because you're ruining this whole shot. You're <laughs> making it difficult for me. Now Leon could have simply replied, you're just smiling at me, that's why. Because I can see it breaking free. <laughs> Now to be fair, the police weren't too rude. They walked up to that black boy and said something. <laughs> it's just that they're black, not white. So it's so happy to Now instead of being good young people, uh, carry on enjoying football and enjoying your life, they start bringing this attitude. They start being, I've forgotten my lines. So I'm just gonna go back.